People can walk through these gates and immediately feel this warmth. I want to take you somewhere, no arcade, it's so cold. What we're doing here is actually something much bigger than just some live music and some games nights. Uh, we're really kind of curing loneliness. And if somebody hurts you, yeah, I want to fight. But my hand's been broken too many times. So T5 Social is more than just a hostel. It's an open for all community that offers a space for people to dream and for everyone to be seen or heard. I'd been teaching for some time and I'd left my teaching job in Malaysia, come back to Europe, went back to London. And uh, I couldn't really find purpose there at that time. I had this goal in the back of my mind that was coming further forward um, that I wanted to own my own hostel at some point. Um, I came along, I came to a skip the small talk on a Tuesday night and I got involved. And uh, yeah, I fell, in, I fell in love with this place straight away. So I asked if I could come and uh, volunteer. And I was doing some cooking, some cleaning, some bed changing, uh, event running in exchange for a free stay. Uh, then the pandemic hit and travel was completely off the cards and we had, to, we had to close here. The owners decided that that was their cue to go back to the UK. Then I had the opportunity to take over. Uh, the pandemic was still like in a, in a cold, dark winter. Uh, there was no travel. I saw in Bucharest a culture that's quite raw and I saw a desire amongst Romanians to meet people from around the world. Romania is built on culture and religion and kind of loyal families and it's quite raw um, in its nature when you compare it to Western Europe which is so cosmopolitan. It's new for Romanians to have a space where uh, there's people from all around the world, they're congregating, they're connecting and they're, they're, sharing, um, they're sharing their worlds with the, the people who live here. You know, we haven't got the biggest marketing so people tend to hear about us through someone else and then they walk through these gates for the first time not knowing what to expect and they're they're completely surprised i see them shocked all right you must be solid enough so the driver will realize that if they're going to crash into you, I'm not going to be the only one flying. They can also fly as well. So if you're attracted to me, you should see upside down. We encourage self-expression and everyone gets an opportunity to do that through the, the events that we run every evening. Uh, in particular, the open stage where you know people can share a poem, they can share their story and it's a non-judgmental environment. There's this older guy who comes along to open stage almost every week and he plays the recorder. This is an instrument that I grew up learning as a child. Plays the, plays the recorder and for him, he's very apologetic in his performance but every week he comes back and he gets better and better. What's great for him is that he tells us um, in his introductions that he's not able to practice at home. Uh, the neighbors, they knock on the floor and they, they tell him to be quiet. And here he is in front of an audience of people who are, who are loving him. We're always hearing about how unique everyone is. Um, but this space truly highlights that. And would it not be for this space, these people may not have the opportunity to connect and to share and to learn from each other. If you stay long enough in a hostel, uh, you gradually grow in responsibility and uh, a new member comes along, it's a community member who will greet them and uh, make them feel welcome. It's, it's a big responsibility to actually um, be the leader of this community. I realise that. Um, I can see that the community is very important to other people. They get a lot out of it, but on, on the same level, this is also the paradise that I've created for myself. <laughs>